fam, so today I'm going to be doing my current faves. I have been loving, like loving a few items and I want to share them with you. The first thing I want to talk about, I am literally obsessed with. I got this for Christmas from Brad and Lindsay and um, this is the daily ex or daily micro microfoliant from Dermalogica. It's a really interesting product because when I opened it, I was like, oh wait, what's this? It's a powder. And so basically what you do, I just keep mine in my shower but it's like a powder that you sprinkle onto your hand while you're in the shower. I mean, you can, I do use mine in the shower, but sprinkle it onto your hand, create a paste in your hands, and it's gritty. And so you rub that all over your face, and then as you keep rubbing, it gently um, exfoliates your skin, and then it, it starts to like disintegrate the, the, the scrubbies. It's so good. What is going on with my hair right now? I have like one straight piece. Anyway, I absolutely love this as an exfoliator. It is so good, it's so gentle, but the paste it forms, it just leaves your skin so soft afterwards. It's absolutely amazing, and there's no like harsh scent or anything like that. So I really love that, it's really, really good. The next skincare thing, I've literally been using this for one week. And the difference I have seen in my skin after one week is insane. One of my subscribers works for this company and asked me if um, she could send me a product out to try. I always am weary to try new products for my skin because I, you know how my skin is. It's completely crazy and one thing will work great and then the next thing will break me out. And so I was nervous. This is Dr. Briner's Skin Therapy. And it's basically just a nightly treatment. You do not want to use this in the day because it feels like a scrub when you're putting it on your face and it doesn't really ever dry. So that's the only downside to this is that it feels absolutely awful when you have it on when you go to bed because it's still wet and it's scrubby. So it's it's something that you have to get used to for sure because it, it's not like a normal product that soaks into your skin and that you can't feel. Like you can feel it when you touch it, it's wet. So you don't want to be like making out with your husband at night. Um, but basically it's made from a pla like a plastic surgeon came up with this. It has all of the benefits of a chemical peel without the red and the scalies and then it's supposed to give you smoother, softer, and more supple skin in just a few weeks which I completely agree with because my skin is so soft, so smooth, and it's only been a week. It reduces wrinkles and fine lines, diminishes age spots, and acne scarring. So it's for if you have acne scars, it's for if you have wrinkles, fine lines, age spots. Basically everything that I have on my face this is designed for. And the best part is it increases collagen growth and stimulates new cell regeneration. And I will tell you, after one week of using this, I see something with my skin. I cannot put a finger on what it is, but it's almost like it looks tighter and plumper, if that makes sense. Like, when I have no makeup on, my skin has this really gorgeous, like, not plasticky look to it, because that sounds bad, but it's really tight, but not dry tight. It's just, it just looks like... I don't know, it just looks really healthy. The stuff is amazing. Like I said, you do not want to use this in the morning. It is strictly a nighttime product. I just put it on my night or my skin before night. Again, it will stain your, it'll make your pillow look kind of gross. It's, it's definitely weird, but it works and it's so amazing and I am not sponsored by them. They, they did send it to me, but they don't know I'm making this video. Like I just said, if I liked it, I would share it. But it's awesome. Okay, the next thing I actually got from when I went down to that Moj Stories uh, Beauty Award thing in San Francisco, I got in my goodie package. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream All Over Miracle Oil for Face, Body, and Hair. Do not put this on your hair. It is super, super heavy duty. It'll make your hair so greasy. I tried that and it was a bad idea. Um, but this I've been, I don't put it on my face just because it's super intense. So if you are dehydrated or need a lot of moisture in your skin, if you're dry right now, you would love this on your face at nighttime. But I put this all over my neck and all over my chest and it has made the skin so soft. It really is an intense moisturizer. It smells absolutely amazing and it's just a spray. So it's just a really nice spray oil and I absolutely love this stuff. And it just gives you like a gorgeous glow but it really does moisturizer for moisturize, moisturize for a really long time. Next is the Tex Style Blow Pro Texture. This is a dry texture spray. I love this. Basically, you just kind of like spray it in your hair and just kind of like, it just gives you just a little bit of texture. It's awesome. It like kind of gives you a little bit of body in your hair. It can kind of like, if you want to like piece stuff out, but it's not sticky or anything like that. It's really, really amazing. I don't know. I didn't cur curl this side super great, so 
don't judge me on this side, it's not doing good, but it's really good. Itch Cosmetics Brush Love, and this is basically just an instant brush cleaner, so if you just need to like quickly, woo, you know, it's really good. It's kind of like oily, but it's not super greasy, it doesn't leave your brushes super oily, but it cleans them really well, and it's just super quick and easy, so if maybe if you were traveling, you wanted to bring it. Next is my palette that I have like literally been using almost every single day. I'm so obsessed with it. It is my Itse or Itsy. I still don't know how I say it. I did a review of this. It's absolutely fabulous because you buy the palette separately. So the palette is like 20, I think it's like 20 bucks, 21 bucks. And then you can buy the, the uh, blush colors separately. So technically your, your first investment of it is a little pricey, but if you think about it, like normally when you buy one blush, you're gonna spend maybe 20 something bucks if it's a good quality blush. But these are $8.99. You are ending up getting a lot of product for really, I mean, if you got these from MAC, these are like 20 something bucks each or 18 or I don't know, but these are $8.99. I've been wearing um, this color right here, which is called Sunshine. Oh my God, where did it go? This is called Sunshine and Happiness and it's literally the most beautiful color ever. I will leave my link down below so you guys can see swatches. And then I've also been using this color right here, which is called, I believe, Barbados, yes. It's just my favorite palette. I love it. It's so, it's just so awesome. Okay, next for my highlight, I've been absolutely loving this. This is the Fifty Shades of Grey Makeup Forever, um, I can't remember what it's called, Desire Me or something like that. But basically, I've just been using this color right here as my highlight, and I do have it on today. And it gives you this most gorgeous, like, melted, pinky glow to your... It's like a highlight color, but it has a pinky undertone to it, but it melts into your skin so nicely. It doesn't look like powder at all. It's just so beautiful. The other colors are really gorgeous too, but I really do love that highlight shade. I think it's really pretty, and I've been using that a whole lot as well. Another product I've really been loving is the MAC Beauty Powder in Pearl Sunshine. This is from the MAC Fairy Whispers which I will be doing a video of as soon as I get my new camera so I can do like better swatches for you guys. But that is what it looks like and it basically is just a really light, it just kind of gives you like a really pretty, it's weird because on your skin it has like a peachy kind of like gold glow but then on this on the cheeks it looks kind of like more, well I guess it is kind of like peachy pinky golden. It's so beautiful. I just, I put a regular blush on first and then I put that over the top and it really is so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. For perfume, I've been loving this Juicy Couture. And I don't know what it's called, but it's the new one. I love the bottle. It's so fabulous and fancy. But I don't know what this is called because it just says JC on the bottom. So I don't know which one it is, but it smells really good. If you see this bottle, give it a sniff because it's good. I have also really been loving the MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Softly Lit from the Fairy Whispers collection. This is so beautiful. I actually have it on right now, except for, it's probably coming off. It's nice because it doesn't get on my Invisalign, which surprised me because I was like, oh, it's going to be all over. I think my teeth are just not sticking out quite as much anymore, so I have less tans. But it's just really pretty. It gives you just a really soft gloss. I'm so over matte lips. They dry your lips out so bad. They look pretty, but ugh, I just, it's, I don't know. I'm just over them. So this really just gives it a really nice sheen to the lips. It's just, it's, it's almost clear, but it has a little bit of a kind of really pale nudish shade. I love it. This I pretty much wear every single day and I've spoken about it 5 million times. This is the ColourPop DGAF. You guys can see I use it a lot. I pretty much use it on my eyes every day. I don't have it on today, of course, but it's just so pretty. It's just like this reddish tone with like green and gold sparkles. It just looks so pretty on the eye and as it wears off like at the very end of the day you're just left with all these sparkles and it's just like so beautiful. I think honestly it's my favorite color in the whole entire universe because I wear it every single day and then I'm like Phew. Maybe I should switch it up in life, like my goodness, you wear the same makeup every day. But I just love it and it looks good and it's easy to do and it doesn't hurt my eyes and it's amazing. One last thing, I've been wearing this so much, it's ridiculous. This is the Dolce K by Kylie Jenner lip liner. I also use the Candy K. Those are my two favorites. I literally wear this every single day. Every single day without fail, I just change up the lipstick. And it is so good, it is so creamy, it lasts forever. They're, the color is just like bomb. That's the Dolce K and the Candy K is in my purse right now. But the Candy K and the Dolce K are literally so close. So if it ever does come back 
just get one because they're super duper similar but that's the color and it just is a really great nude lip like it just I don't know I just love it I'm so obsessed it's a winter wonderland out here I have a huge icicle and then a tree covered in snow and it looks super festive I feel like I'm in Narnia anyway guys I will be getting a new camera today I get to pick it up I'm so excited um, I'm excited to see what the quality looks like and I will also have autofocus so I will actually be able to focus on my things up close and personal if I go like this it'll focus which I'm super excited about because that is my biggest cons like complaint about this camera I like the way it looks here it's just like when I want to swatch like it's just a pain I hope you guys found that helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to share this if you did find it helpful, if there's a couple of items that you think someone wants to know about. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.